Hi, it's Marlene, and I am one of the Information Girls. And today, I'm going to show you how to use from Canva in your free account, how to make a thumbnail for YouTube. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is log into your Canva account. When you're logged into your Canva account, you're going to type in the search bar, YouTube thumbnail. Okay, when that comes up, I like to go over on the left hand side where it says free and pro and I like to make sure I highlight the free ones. Okay, so you're just going to scroll down and look at some of the thumbnails depending on what kind of content you're making. Sometimes they have some templates that would work really well for the content that you have made. So scroll through and look and make sure you are choosing a thumbnail that is correct. Also, I want to show you, make sure when you're choosing a thumbnail, you don't see this, which means you're gonna have to pay for those. Those are not free. Those ones you have to have the Canva Pro. And also another one you don't want to choose is one that has, I'm looking for it here. That's like a MP4 file like this one right here. You don't want to get one like this because it will be like a MP4 file. You want to make sure you choose one that is just the photo okay so let's go and i'm going to choose this one right here so you click on it and the first thing that i like to do is the photo that's here is that the photo that you want to use if not you would come over here to elements and type in something. Say you're going to do one on some flowers. So when you type it in and it comes up, you choose from, from one of the free things of flowers. So this looks pretty nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you gotta remove the one that's underneath this. You gotta click delete. So now that that's gone, now you're going to take this and you're going to size it to your template, okay? How you want it to be. All right? And move it over how you want to to fix it. All right? And I would get rid of this. So you would right click and then delete to remove it. And here, I, you're gonna type in whatever it is that you want. If you don't want it, just right click it and delete, okay? So here I'm just gonna write, I'm just gonna make up something that I think would be good. I'm just gonna delete these by right clicking and removing it. So in order to get some of the text that I want, I you click text then I really enjoy this one at the top here that says cheers and you're just going to click that. Okay, when that comes up, now you're just going to write in whatever it is that you want. Um, I'm going to backspace. So now that that came up, now we're just going to backspace. Okay, and I'm going to type on here, spring flowers. Say that's what you want to talk about, right? So now that you have typed in that text, you're going to want to size this text, okay? And you do that by right here by the font size. 
and you're going to increase, I mean, decrease it by using the minus until you get where you want to, okay? You keep pressing it until it's what you want. Then you try to size it how you want it, okay? By moving it over, okay? Or you can put it on onto where you want and then just completely remove this and make this uh, the whole picture. Everything is up to you guys. You can be as creative as you want to on your thumbnail. It's all your choice what you want to do. Okay? And I'm going to press text again and put something else here. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to fix the text again so that it's sized the way I want it to be sized. Okay, that sounds about, that looks about how I would want it to look. And then I'm just going to move it and place it how I want to. Okay, now it's placed how I want. And that looks about what I would want. Now, if you're pleased with how your thumbnail is looking, now all you have to do is click here on the right side, download. You want to make sure you, you, you see this PNG suggested. If you don't see that, like I said before, if you see MP4, no, don't use that one. Make sure you use this one PNG suggested and click download. And right down here, you can see downloading and it says here success. So you have cre you have successfully created a thumbnail with Canva, the free version. And to get that, all you have to do is look in your recent downloads and you will have created a thumbnail using the free edition of Canva. I am Marlene of The Information Girls and I thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you have subscribed and turn on your notification bell.